Hey guys, Matt Wilson, Real Manufacturing. We got Carl here today, uh, expertly trained as you can tell. He just lets me do what I need to do. He doesn't move, perfect stay. Everybody should be as good as I am um, at training dogs like this. Good boy. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about measuring a muzzle the correct way. Um, some points that you need to make sure that you are getting. If you go to rayallen.com, and uh, you look up a muzzle, it's gonna take you down to a muzzle guide um, that's gonna show these points. You just wanna make sure that you're, you know, that you're getting them clear for your dog and, you're, and so that we can get you the best judgment. Um, we were asked recently, you know, where do you want the muzzle to sit? You want the muzzle to be pretty close to the nose. You don't want it smushing and you don't want it to be like this. You want it to be kind of right there. So if they do work, it kind of, you know, it might push, but it's not gonna go very far. It's not gonna be impact on the nose, it's gonna be, pushed into the nose, okay? Um, so if they're doing muzzle work, it's not interfering with anything. Um, if it's too far on the nose, then when they do push into it, it's gonna push in on the eyes, and we definitely don't want that. We want it to fit very nicely. So the first measurement that you're gonna take is tip of the nose to the top of the ears, okay? So, or the base of the skull is kind of how they measure it. So you kind of go tip of the nose, base of the skull, right there, okay? The next measurement that you're going to do is around the neck. Kind of like where you would measure a dominant dog collar, up high and tight, uh, maybe a little bit lower about right here. That measurement is what you want to see. The third measurement that you want to take is on the biggest an opening and closure of the dog's mouth. So I'm going to measure from right here, okay, where I kind of see the bridge and where the biggest part of the mouth would be open. Then I'm going to measure around that. And I'm also going to do a closed mouth and measure around also and kind of see where those measurements are so that my dog can pant, be happy and healthy inside of the muzzle. And it's not just constricting him because this isn't a vet muzzle. This isn't anything like that. This is, you know, how to measure for, uh, you know, a working muzzle or a basket muzzle. From D, this is what I consider probably the most important measurement besides the mouth opening part. Measuring from right here where you can feel it go up into the skull, that nose to the tip is one of the most important and it's you know because right here is kind of the inside of that eye and we want to see that we want to go from right there to the tip of the nose we do not want the muzzle to be too long then it's going to be interfering with the dog up in their eyes we want it to be right here and that's where it sits want to make sure that you're measuring that correctly. And the last and final one is one of the hardest ones that we see from people which is the bottom of the jaw to the neck. Okay, it is not this, even though that's what it kind of shows on the description sheet. The reason is because there's just too much going on, so we put it to where it's measuring this right here. But what we want is we want bottom of the jaw to the neck, that measurement right there, where that strap that you measured earlier would come in. Not to here, because that's not where the muzzle is going to go, the muzzle is going to go there. So we want to have a muzzle guide all the way around from here to the bottom. So in short, tip of the nose, bottom of the skull. That's first one. Second one, round the neck. Third one, round the snout, open and closed. Fourth one, we want from tip of the nose to base of the eyes, okay? And then the last one, bottom of the jaw to the neck. You get those measurements, we can really help you find the right muzzle if you need it. But if you get those measurements and you look online, you'll be able to find which muzzle fits your dog correctly and order that. Ordering the right muzzle and the right equipment first is awesome because then you don't have to deal with returning it and making sure you get a different one or anything like that. Ordering the right muzzle the first time is gonna be beneficial for you and the dog. Thanks guys. Thank <laughs> you.